when, I, when Bluetooth Low Energy was introduced, it was very nice that, you know, there was a lot of these combo chips. So Bluetooth Classic, Bluetooth Low Energy, and that's what all the phones and laptops and things adopted. But Bluetooth Low Energy understood that just, just having a peripheral, a peripheral has very different requirements, right? So although it was very cheap to add the Bluetooth Low Energy um, into the silicon that was going into these laptops, you could also build custom Bluetooth Low Energy only peripheral devices, you know, that only need to connect to the host. And that's how you got a, a big diversity of, or be able to get the cost of these end peripherals really low. So not only the power, but the cost, and it's not a symmetric. You know, so Bluetooth Classic was invented in a world where it was about replacing a cable. And it's quite a symmetric concept, right? You're, there's two things and they want to, they want to talk. Um, whereas Bluetooth uh, Low Energy very much was thinking about really low power, really low cost devices that need to talk to something that can be, can afford to be more um, capable. And I, th I think that for me, that's something that's really interesting. And now, now you're looking at Bluetooth Classic and thinking, why does it need to exist anymore?